The first S4 HANA on-premise was released in March 2015 and the version was 1503 and uh, it was a S4 HANA Finance. Now the main release came of all the ERP where you also had the sales module and other important modules part of the SAP was in November 2015 and this was 1511 release. Now, if we see when the first S4 HANA Cloud was introduced, it was one year after the on-premise, which was March 2016, and the version was 16.03. So 16.03 SAP S4 HANA Cloud was the first Cloud S4 HANA, and the 15.11 is the first on-premise S4 HANA. Now, why we are discussing all that. Now there's an important point which we like to introduce here when it comes to versioning which over time will be required. So as a ABAPR this should be the first thing you should be aware about what is the system where you're working, what is the version which you are working. It will help you to figure out what are the features you can use. So just to add this important information when you talk about any version of system from SAP S4 HANA, you see that 1603. Now, the first two digit here, 16 signify the year and the 03 signify the month in which that particular version was released. So you can see 16 stand for 2016 and 03 means it's a March. So 01 will be January, 02 will be February, 03 will be March and so on. In a similar way, if you see 1511, the first two digit here signify the year, which is 2015. And the next two digits signifies which month, which is November. So by just looking into a version, now you can tell which date it was released. So for example, if I say 1909, so this is 1919.09. So what do you think? If I'm calling that this is the S4 HANA on-premise version I have, then what do you think will be the year in which or the date in which it was released or launched to the market? So it will be 2019, the first two digits. So if I take a different color, so this will be the first two digit and this is the next two digit. So 2019 and 9 stand for September. So it will be September 2019 S4 HANA on premise release. So if your system was updated with a new release after 2019 September, then whatever the feature which is present in 1909, you would also have in your system. So that is a very important point. Now, just to get an understanding, what are the ABAP version? So the ABAP version was 7.50 in our S4 HANA on-premise system. So that was the first S4 HANA system which was released and the ABAP version was 7.5. So the series 7.5X start with 7.50 and this was the first ABAP update which we got in our S4 HANA on-premise system which was released first in March 2015, only the finance module and with other modules in November 2015. Now as we are discussing about different systems of cloud and on-premise, you will find that the cloud system is updated in every quarter. So every quarter, that means every three months, you will find a new updates in S4 HANA Cloud, but the on-premise system, a new version comes out once in a year. So that is the trend you will see. Now, apart from this yearly release, what we have for S4 HANA on-premise, we also have support package and feature package. So support package mostly will give you fixes of any kind of bug if you have in a release and the feature package will provide you additional feature 
Now, as the system is updated once in a year, so if something is required or some new feature need to be added, then they will be part of the feature packages. And um, now in here in the cloud, as we said, it's a quarterly release. We normally call those innovation packages. So you have here in the cloud every three months update as an innovation pack. And uh, in here in the on-premise, it's a yearly updates. So if someone is a customer who is in the cloud, then their system will be automatically updated. And if someone is a customer who is having on-premise system, so if they go for the update after the yearly release, then their system will be updated. So these are some of the ways the SAP S4 cloud and on-premise system are updated or releases are controlled. So I hope that you got an understanding of how things are laid out and uh, how things actually work in terms of updates and in terms of different versions.